hanging on but seeing its dominance decline. The traditional four-door sedan is in a turf war with the crossover utility vehicle. But if you prefer a car with some size to it, that's rear-wheel drive with a former Corvette engine and, oh, a stick shift, well, the choice is down to one. This is the 2015 Chevy SS. Finding an honest-to-goodness large car in the blue-collar segment is tough enough nowadays, much less if you desire attributes such as rear-wheel drive, V8, let's not get crazy now, a manual transmission. If that's the car you're after, look no further. Now that Chevy has added the no-cost option of a six-speed manual, the SS is really in a class of its own. Well, there is a cost associated with the stick shift, but it's in your favor in a couple of ways. Because it returns 1 MPG better in city driving than the six-speed automatic, it avoids the $1,300 gas guzzler tax levied on that car. So it's a win-win situation. And to complete the trifecta of the no-brainer choice, the stick makes the SS exponentially more fun to drive. My first couple of SS test drives left me feeling a bit emotionally detached from the car. Both had automatic transmissions. Now, I'm not one to say stick shift or bust, but in the case of this car, I'd have my SS no other way. This V8 was just made to have a six-speed manual working it. It concentrates the car's flavors, resulting in a more fun and engaging experience. And the sounds are small block Chevy perfection. Yet another perk is the more aggressive, shorter gearing for the final drive, making it even faster than the five second zero to 60 time of the automatic. There are 415 horsepower and an equal amount of torque on tap, so blistering acceleration is an SS hallmark, and the manual gives you a better tool to extract the fun. It's easy to operate too, so it never feels like work, though the clutch pedal is long on travel and a bit springy on the uptake, taking a little time to acquaint yourself. The Stabilitrack system has three modes with full off, permitting as much wheel spin as you wish. In a sea of conservatively tuned V6 powered sedans, the SS is a true standout. The last of the LS3 powered GM cars, the 6.2 liter V8 starts and idles with attitude, gently vibrating its power through the cabin and producing a distinctly throaty Chevy sound. The use of an aluminum hood and rear deck lid, nearly 50-50 weight balance, a limited slip differential, and legit staggered width Bridgestone summer use tires contribute to the car's exceptional big car handling and tenacious grip. But the key to making the SS a performance sedan you can happily live with every day is the magnetic ride control shocks, now standard for 2015. With tour, sport, and performance modes, these dampers work their magic through a host of GM vehicles, each time significantly contributing to the car's appeal. Smooth as butter over rough surfaces, yet tight in the curves, the SS can be driven through a wide dynamic range, displaying skill throughout. It's a quiet highway cruiser, a hot rod, and a nimble handler all rolled into one. You could think of it as a premium four-door Camaro SS. Another change this year is the addition of Brembo brakes on the rear as well as the front. Helping exude some personality from the understated SS design is this new perfect blue paint, one of five new colors, including green and even purple. Most people still don't know about this car as it gets no marketing dollars, and as such I was asked a number of times if it was a Malibu or an Impala, so it definitely could use a shot of its own personality. The interior shows similar restraint with a competent, quality-driven design, integrating tasteful leather, suede, and metallic elements, showcasing some class. While the feature-laden and easy-to-use MyLink touchscreen system now adds OnStar 4G LTE with Wi-Fi hotspot. It's American-sized and very comfortable for four, but a large drivetrain hump makes the center rear position a splay-the-leg situation and the trunk is even bigger than the Dodge Chargers. Notable features include a host of camera-based safety features like forward collision and side blind zone alert, and a nifty parking assistant that steers the car perfectly and easily into a parallel or perpendicular parking space. There's also a heads-up display. Imported from GM's Australian-based Holden unit, which is winding down production, the SS isn't likely to last, at least not like this, past 2017. 
Just like another Holden source car, the last Pontiac GTO, the styling of the SS still seems a bit off. Either way, it's a niche car for a very specific buyer, but one that can be a very satisfying choice for the non-conformist. Other than the sunroof, everything is included in one tidy trim for an as-tested price of $47,640. Gas mileage is rated at 15 MPG City, 21 Highway on recommended premium. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.